In today's episode, I play a game of hide and seek. Hey, how you going? I show you why you should never craft a key. Oh, oh no. I do one of the longest flame raids in my life. How many have we done? One, two, three, four, door number five. And I silent raid one of the richest two by ones on my island. Let's go. Hey, how you going? Tommy. It's definitely a Tommy. <sighs> oh, I thought the MP5 guy was dead. They're just fucking me all left, right and centre at the minute. Fuck. Dead quick, gonna use this time first thing in the morning right now to recycle all of these fuses that I'm just not gonna use. Gotta be really careful though. I'm hoping the area is pretty quiet right now. The server is down a little bit on pop. Obviously, these official servers never die. What is dead may never die. Ooh, that's a new base with backwards walls all the way around it. Bit of scrap bola. I'm tempted not to raid this guy. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, a jackhammer, I do need that, to be honest. Right, I'm sorry. What I'll do is I will I will help him out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help myself to some bits and pieces. Oh, this poor dude, man. I am gonna help myself. I need the stuff, unfortunately. But, oh, do I need the stuff, really? Oh, we'll give him his bow back, for sure. Never craft keys, guys. Just never do it. You don't need to craft them anymore. Key locks, the whole point of key locks right now is it's like a code lock but for one person. So you don't need to craft the key. If you've not seen Rust before, it you just literally can lock it. You having like the op the having placed the lock means you can open it. So you don't need to craft it. Crafting keys just means that people can get into your base. So that is a newbie newbie player, but that jackhammer to me is pretty vital. I'm gonna just restock all my furnaces up right now. This sort of uh, I feel for him. I'll go back. I'll bring him some stuff back to be honest because I feel bad This isn't you shouldn't in rust, but I do um... All right, hey, dude stop stop stop. I'll give you the key back. I'll give you the key back. I'll give you the key back Come on. Are you are you new to the game? Okay, look all right So to begin with problem number one right this wall these walls here are backwards so that means that I could use seven pickaxes and break it down and get into your base really easily. That's problem number one. Problem number two, you don't have to craft a key for this door. Just click E on the door right now. You don't need to craft a key for it. By crafting a key, you just give people like me the opportunity to steal it and go deep on your base. 
All you have to do is click lock on the door, and whoever makes the lock can, can access it without making a key. Alright, well I took your resources so I apologise, but here is a metal hatchet. You're going to have to sort those walls out because they're backwards. So the only way to do it is to either make them metal and then rotate them, or build an extra layer of honeycomb out there. If you need me, just, uh, you know where I live. You gotta, you gotta help the odd guy out, right? Help out the little guy. Ah, oh, I feel so bad taking his stuff, man. Ah, oh, well, never craft keys, guys. That's the moral of this story. Hopefully, whoever kills you, if you do, will be as nice as I. Um, to be honest, I'm gonna bring him some loot. Metal frags for a metal door, maybe. Maybe I'll just bring him a metal door. I'll probably bring him some components and stuff as the day goes on as well. I wanna see how he gets on without help, um, learning from his mistake and then we'll go from there. If he doesn't, or he doesn't progress, then so be it, but he needs to sort those walls out. I won't be I won't be going off until I'm comfortable that he's sorted those walls out, but hey ho. I've got plenty of low grade, like so, so much. I mean, these sort of raids to me now are kind of just like nothingness. Another wood door, just as I suspected. Fuck, another one. Oh my god, there's another one! Jesus Christ! Where does that even get us into? A one by one, or is it a one by two? Oh god, it gets us into whatever the hell this base is. Right, okay, well, good thing I have that refinery from last episode with an absolute abundance of low grade, because if not, I would be annoyed right now. Another door to summitness. Okay. Locked uh, boxes. Hey, that ain't twelve percent bad. Yeah, that ain't so so stunning. But how many are we done? One, two, three, four. Door number five. There best not be another door, man. Thank you. Holes in. My man. You do not have a lot. At all, in fact. I don't think I've got enough to get through that now. Poles in. Why? Alright. Yeah, boy. That'll do it. Worth. Worth, worth, worth. All right, let's go. I've got okay. So here's here's the sort of uh, the crux of my my thinking right now. I have 950 scrap. That's a lot of scrap. Um, I obviously have a level three bench, so I could do a level three research with that thousand scrap. Or I could learn. I could learn the explosive that I have, in anticipation of one day getting rockets, because this server has still got another week and a half to go before it should wipe um, so either that or C4 maybe if we get the explosives or do I just cross that bridge when I come to it do I learn the 750 for the explosive maybe 250 for the flamethrower so I've got the flamethrower because that's been treating us really well this wipe I think we probably blow it all on a 1000 scrap research because scrap isn't hard to come by really I mean I can recycle stuff and if we by chance get the AK, something like that, oh my god, could you imagine? I do have a rifle bullet, a rifle bullet, a rifle body, so we could do that. I think we do that, right. Let me restock everything. I need to do some crafting, really. I need the night time so we can craft some more uh, explosive rounds, go silent raiding again. But probably going against my better judgment, and you guys will have to tell me what you would do in the comments down below right now. Um, I think... I, I'm gonna do the thousand boy research. Um, this is probably silly, right? This is probably silly. But we have. Fuck it, let's do it. Come on, guys. Oh, God, this is a. Uh, this is a mistake. I don't even want to look. Oh, uh, what is it? Oh, a ball. Okay. Okay. That isn't horrendous. I mean, it's sure as hell not great, because I don't have any sort of scope. Um, I mean, I guess we could buy an eight times from the old bandit camp. Where's that? I haven't even... Oh, I don't explore enough of this map. Down here, 
we can get a boat round and try and buy ourselves the huge ass uh, whatever it is. That's not horrendous. We'll take that, we'll take that guys. Come on, that deserves a like with a little bit of... <laughs> it could have been high stone walls or something, right? So, <laughs> at least we got that. Right, so we got the bolt. I might craft one, you know. Alrighty guys. Like I say, I think what I'm going to do is a variety of small arrays for the foreseeable future, then leading up to one bigger one, just in case we do get raided. I don't want to lose all of the explosive rounds that I've worked so hard to grab. So, we're going to go kick it on into this base right now, and then I might... I'm looking at that one over there. It's a full metal baby um, with quite a couple of different entryways. But this is obviously... Ah, oh, use that. Fucking idiot. This is still so loud though, you know? Like, it is still so loud. Come on, show me that airlock, baby. That's what we want to see. That isn't what we want to see. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. Alright. Nice, okay. Just a little wood door down. Really does help. Right, what we got? Loads of wood, 80 scrap, high quill, another load of low grade right there because we've got the refinery, which is sick. Loads of stuff. Um, a couple of diamond bits, not too fussy about. The metal here, though, is so, so good. You guys know my TC is struggling all days of the week. I do not care about the charcoal though. Not really fussed about those either. This this was a fucking good raid, guys. I'm happy with that, guys. I am. Good raid. Really nice when you pull it off and it goes smoothly as well. Silent raiding, silent raiding is the boy when it goes well. If it doesn't and people turn on you, losing those bullets does hurt quite a lot, but you can't really say no to that. Just had a satchel go off over here. There he is. Do you want to die? What armor OP, man? Don't raid that guy, he's a complete noob. I've still got TC. Oh, he wasn't? Where the hell was that satchel then? Some cunt was raiding my base! Some cunt has thrown a single satchel on my door. Alrighty guys, just looking up shop now. That is me for the day. I'm pretty damn happy with what's gone on and what we've got done. Found a little flame turret, little flame boy, so he's going to keep us safe. We've got, oh, we've got sulfur coming out of our, our bottoms now, so we're going good. Um, I'm just going to move some of the important stuff like a little bit deeper into the base right now, but to be honest, we haven't been raided so far, so I'm, I'm hopeful, but you never know in this game, do you? So let's just rinse the furnaces of all the metal frags they've got cooked. Yeah, so this is our components chest, pretty much. 150 fucking high ball just sat in there, chilling, cloth, whatever. Looking Gucci, we got the bolty. A load more bullets ready to go for next episode, plus a satchel that I found that we can use. We got a few guns on some stragglers here, there, and everywhere, tools and stuff. We've kind of lost uh, sort of focus with the box and the chest placement, but I do need to get that large furnace down, actually. That would be nice. That would kick the operation into gear, and all of these have just got charcoal in. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do leave a like on the video if you did enjoy, or a dislike if you didn't. I completely understand. Um, but it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys are enjoying in terms of the content. And we are on, like, episode maybe seven now, I think. I can't remember. It could even be eight i can't remember um this is the longest wipe i think i've ever done ever period which is just incredible um so guys thank you so much for your support as it's been going on and the next video will be hitting you in a couple of days time and don't forget guys if you do head on down to the description down below you'll see that we've got some uh, some merchandise some merch kicking off uh down there just some till stuff you guys can check it out it is pretty damn nice new supplier with a hell of a lot better con uh, quality of stuff. So check that out down below. Support your boy and get yourself something just in time for Christmas. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. I've been Tills. Subscribe, like, comment. Peace out.